This video covers the Year 8 Algebra Applications Test Preview. These are the sorts of questions you should see at an A and B level. I'll put some time tags below for you with question numbers for anyone following along with the test preview or some descriptions of the sorts of questions that we'll be answering. Question 1A has got multiplication and addition in it. So we need to do our bod maths first and then we need to collect up our like terms. So the first thing we'll do is we'll multiply them together. So we've got minus a times four. Remember that's actually a minus one. So I end up with minus four ac and two a times b makes two ab. Now these are not like terms, so that is fully solved. Question one b has got multiplication and addition in it. So we'll need to do our multiplication before our addition. We've got minus 5a times minus 4c. So minus a times minus 4 is positive 20. And then the ac. And we have 7c times 2a makes 14ac. I'm writing them in alphabetical order. Now these two are like terms. They both have the same letter combinations, so we can add them together, making 34 groups of AC altogether. Question 1C has got addition and multiplication in it. We're going to need to do our multiplication first. So I'm just going to start by writing 6Y. And then I'm going to multiply these together. So I've got 5 times 8 making 40 and y. And now I can collect these as like terms. I have 6 groups of y and 40 groups of y, giving me 46 groups of y altogether. Question 1d has got multiplication and subtraction and addition in it. And I'm also being careful because I can see that I'm going to be working with negative numbers. So I'll start with my multiplication. Minus 2c times 7c makes minus 14c squared. Remember, it's 2 times 7, or minus 2 times 7, making minus 14. And then c times c, and c squared means c times c. Minus 4c squared plus 8c. Now, I'm going to collect my like terms. I can collect the groups of c squared but c is different, okay? Remember, these ones mean the number multiplied by itself, whereas these ones are just the number sitting there. So I've got minus 14, taking another four c squareds away, leaving me with minus 18 c squared and 8c. Question 1e has got addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I'm going to do the multiplication first. So I'll drop my 7 plus y minus 2. Ooh, now, I've got 2 times y times 2c. So this is actually minus 4. I've got minus 2 times 2. C, y. Okay, so we're collecting up these. They've been multiplied together as well. Now I can do my addition. So looking at this... I've actually completed this question here. I've got seven and that can't be added to anything else. I've got a group of Y, but that's different to groups of CY. And I've got negative four groups of CY. So just so that's nice and neat, seven plus Y minus four CY is the correct answer. Question one F has got multiplication, subtraction and addition. Let's do the multiplication first. I've got minus 5 times 1, making minus 5c squared, with c times c. Subtract 4c squared, add 7c squared. Okay, if I've got minus, four, minus 5, minus 4, that makes minus 9c squared, plus 7c squared, and minus 9 plus 7 makes minus 2c squared. Question 3a, we don't seem to have any question 2s on this sheet, it's a bit odd, but what we've done is we've jumped up to expanding and simplifying, okay? So we're going to expand the brackets, expand these brackets, and then we're going to collect our like terms to simplify. So that means I'm doing 3 times 4m, which is 12ms, 
3 times minus 5 c's, making minus 15 c's. Minus 2 c's times 7 makes minus 14 c's. And minus 2 c times minus 1 m makes positive 2 c m's. Let's collect up our like terms. I've got m's but no others, so that 12 m's will stay the same. I've got minus 15 minus 14 c's, so that's going to make minus 29 groups of c, and I've got my 2 c m's on the end. Question 3b, we're going to need to expand our brackets, expand these brackets, and then we will collect our like terms to simplify. So I've got minus 9 times 2a, making minus 18 groups of a, minus 9 times minus 1b, making positive 9 groups of b, minus 2 times 5a, giving me minus 10 groups of a, and minus 2 times minus 7b's, making 14 b's. Now I'll go through and collect my like terms. I've got minus 18 a's, minus another 10 groups of a, giving me minus 28 groups of a, and I've got 9 b's plus 14 b's, which is going to give me 23 groups of b. In question 3c, I'm going to expand my brackets, expand these brackets, and then I'm going to collect my like terms to simplify. So I've got 8 groups of m, 8 times negative 5 groups of c, making minus 40 c. I've got negative 2 c's multiplied by 4, making minus 8 c's. And I've got negative 2 c's times negative 3 m. So negative 2 times negative 3 makes positive 6 c m's. Now I'm going to collect my like terms. These are the only, this is the only term that has m's, so this one stays. Then I have minus 40 minus 8, so minus 48 groups of c, and 6 groups of cm on the end. Question 3D, we're going to expand our brackets, expand our brackets, and we'll collect our like terms and simplify. So I have minus 2 times 2a, leaving me minus 4 groups of a, minus 2 times minus 5b, giving me positive 10 groups of b, 10 times 2a, giving me 20 groups of a, and 10 times negative 1b, giving me negative 10 groups of b. Now I'm going to collect my like terms. I have negative 4a's here, and I add 20 groups of a, giving me 16 groups of a. And I have 10 groups of b. I take those 10 groups of b away, so they are not there at all anymore, and the answer is 16a. Question 4a is asking us to factorise. So we're going the opposite way to expanding. So what we want to do is make these look like these up here. Okay. So what we'll do is we will take all of the factors that are common out the front of the brackets here. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll have a look at this and say, right, I can see that 3 will go into each of those. So I'll take the 3 out the front. Now there are M's across some of these, but not across all. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to say this is 2M squared plus 1 minus 4MB. And I'll elaborate a little more on that. If I expand this back out, 3 times 2M squared makes 6M squared, 3 times 1 makes 3, and 3 times negative 4MB makes negative 12MB. In question 4B, I'm looking for all of the factors that I can take outside the brackets. So in question 4A, I only managed to take out the number 3. Over here, I'm going to be able to take more out. I can see that minus 8 will go into minus 8, and it will also go into minus 16. So it's a common factor, so we'll take minus 8 out the front. I have A's in both terms, so I can take an A out the front. I have N's in both terms, so the N can go out the front. But there are only C's in this term, so we'll have to remain within the brackets. 
Okay, so that means that I will put a 1 here because minus 8n times 1 makes minus 8an. And then over here I will put in 2c because minus 8 times 2 makes minus 16 and an times c makes nac. Question 4C is asking me to factorise fully, so what I'm doing is looking for all of the common factors across these terms. Now, 2 will go into each of these, so we'll take that out the front. A is not across all terms, so it will have to remain within the brackets. V is across all terms, so we'll take the V out the front. Okay. That leaves us with 11a here, because 2v times 11a makes 22ab. Leaves us with 5 here, because 2v times 5 makes 10v. And it leaves us with minus 8ab here, because 2 times minus 8 makes minus 16. v times a makes the, the AV section of it, and then when you do V times V, that's where this little squared comes from. Question 4D, we're looking to fully factorise this, so I'm looking for all common factors out the front. So, I can see that negative 3 will go into negative 3 and to negative 15, so I'll take that out the front. Don't forget that this minus is necessary. It says up here that you've got to take out the negative factor where you can. Now, M is not in both of these terms, so it will have to stay in the brackets. D can come out the front, because it's in both terms. F can also come out the front. And then in the brackets, we're left with M, because 3DF times M makes negative 3MDF. And then we've got a positive 5, because negative 3 times positive 5 makes negative 15, and then DF will transfer up there. Question 5a is asking us a worded problem and it's asking us to describe the perimeter of a rectangle. So that's the distance around a rectangle. So I think it might help if we start this question by drawing a rectangle. Now it tells us that the length of it is 6d and that the width of it is 120 minus 2d. Okay, so we know that the rule for the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the length plus twice the width. Okay, and that makes sense because we need two of these and two of these to make it all the way around the rectangle. So what we'll do is we'll now substitute the length and width in. So I've got two lots of 6d and I've got two lots of 120 minus 2d's. And just like in the previous questions, we're going to expand these and collect the like terms. So we've got 2 times 6d making 12d's and then you've got 2 times 120 which is 240 and 2 times negative 2d's, making minus 4d's. Now I can collect my like terms, so I'm left with 8d's and 240. Question 5b follows on from 5a. In 5a we needed to write an expression to describe the perimeter of the rectangle, which we did down here. So we've got our expression 8d plus 240 and now this is just a simple substitution question it's telling us that d is 50 so we rewrite it by substituting 50 in place of the d because d is 50 plus 240 and that gives us 400 plus 240 which is 640 meters. Don't forget your units, okay? It gives them to you up here. You've got to answer with units. Question 6a is asking us to find the area of this triangle. 
So we're going to start off by drawing a triangle just so it's nice and clear what we're talking about. So we'll pop a triangle in here and we'll label it up. It says that it's got a base of 6x centimetres and it has a height of 2x plus 4 centimetres. Okay, and question 6a is asking us to write an expression for the area of this triangle. So we know that the rule for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or half the base times the height. So we will write in our expression, it will be a base of 6x multiplied by 2x plus 4, all divided by 2. Question 6b asks us to take our expression that we developed in 6a and to expand and simplify it. So we'll bring this down here. And we've got 6x multiplied by 2x plus 4, all divided by 2. Remember this is base times height divided by 2, so we're looking for the area of the triangle. 6x times 2x makes 12x squared plus 6x times 4, which is 24x, all divided by 2. And so this is really saying half of this and half of this. So we can simplify that to 6x squared plus 12x. 6c is asking us to take our new expression that we've simplified. So we've got 6x squared and 12 x and it's giving us a value of x so x is 10 okay so wherever we see an x we'll substitute a 10 so read 6 times 10 squared plus 12 times 10 is 600 plus 120 giving us a total of 720 square centimetres. Not forgetting that it's area, we're not going to forget our units.